Thanks for watching. Here are the items that you need to make cake pops. Candy melts, cake pop sticks, baggies and ties, cake pop stand, a bowl spoon whisk, cake ingredients, melting pops, ceramic or plastic, and a cake pop maker. Hi, my name is Anna, and thanks for watching Cooking with Anna. Today we are going to make cake pops. I am making about 10 cake pops. And now I have all of my ingredients ready. To Today I'm using half of the funfetti cake mix, which I totally love. I'll put in my oil and water, and now I'm going to mix it. Now I am putting in two eggs, so my cake can be moist. I had my mom crack the eggs because I'm not a good cracker. Now you mix it. Once I mix the ingredients together, I'm going to use a spoon to place into your pre-warm cake pot maker. because it's littler and it might get messy if you do this one. So now I'm gonna put it into the bowl, this. You, you, you can spray this if you like. I am using Pam. Now you spray this into the cake pop maker so the cake pop doesn't get sticky onto the cake pop maker. Now I'm going to place my cake mix, or you can call it cake pot mix, to the cake pot mix with my spoon. You got to start fast or the bake. I think I'm actually better than my mom at doing this because she does it kind of sloppy. there. Now I'm going to close it now. After I'm finished. Just bake to three or four minutes. Now I'm going to let these bake for three to four minutes and now I'm going to warm out my candy melts now. First I have to wipe my hands. Now I'm going to use, well today I'm going to use my pink candy melts and my sparkle candy melts. And these are the best kind to use for your cake pop. And everybody would love it. I need a little bit. So I'm going to put my pink in here. And you only need 10 for each. And I'm going to uh, be using the ceramic pot. Or so now you're going to put it into the microwave. And after you're done, and if it looks like this, just cut around the edge. And if if you don't really like it, then you, you can do it over again. But you always have to know this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it the best you can. Now I'm going to go around the edges. And my candy melts are ready. I'm going to let these cool off. Now I'm going to get my candy melts. pink one so it can be good and smooth. Now you're done with that. I'm going to place my cake pot. 
pop sticks into one of my candy melts and do this. And now I'm going to place the candy pops and the and the cake mix into the pretty ones that I like. And the other ones I'll give to my brother. Using the pretty one, so I'm gonna give the rest to my brother. I am um, my candy melt, and I'm going to fill it halfway up so I can dip in my cake pops. Okay, now I'm going to put both of them into the microwave. I'm going to melt these for two minutes, and I pressed this, and it only gave me two seconds. So I'm going to do this. Uh, zero, zero. No, that don't work. Stop here. Two, zero, zero. Start. Now two minutes. And while that is working, you're going to let these work. Going to use my favorite sparkles today. And I'm going to use pink as always and green. So I'll put pink on the sparkly candy milk, uh, milk and green on the pink candy milk. Yes, birthday. And this cake uh, mix leftover is going to be for him. And he loves my cake pops so much, so I'm going to make this for his birthday. You can store it into your refrigerator for up to three days. Now my candy melts are warm. Now I'm going to get my cake pops out of the refrigerator. Okay. Now I'm going to dip the sparkly ones into the cake pops. Won't stop dripping. That's why. And you have to get all that candy melt into that cake pop mix. You have to do it really gentle. So the stick will not come off. to love these so much you're going to have to do this all the time okay so I'm going to put the uh, the green sprinkles on the pink yeah These white candy melts are so good, they don't need sprinkles because they already have some. Just going to put a little more on the pink. If you want it to be really sweet, like a sweet tooth, then you, you can put a sprinkle. I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator again uh, so they can set long. Now I'm going to feed the ugly ones to my brother. <laughs> you saw come here! Here. Good frosting. They're ready to come out the refrigerator. Now, you're going to get a bag. Going to do the pink one first. Put it to the side. And now, 
Now everybody loves cake pops. And thanks for watching me making cake pops. And if you want me to make something else that you don't know how to make, then just um, write a comment back to me. Bye-bye. And thanks for watching Cooking with Zaina.